Hey everyone, and welcome to Friday Night Drinks with Rick. You know, when I went to bartend in school, I actually learned the textbook way of making drinks, and that was great. I learned a lot about measurements and pours and, and, and different alcohol contents and how to mix those. But one of the things that I think is the most important is making drinks just the way you want to make them and how it tastes good to you. And so through this series, as I'm making drinks, that's exactly what I'm going to do, is I'm just going to show you how I like to make drinks. Of course, you can make them however you want to as well. Today, I'm going to start off with one of my favorite drinks, and that is a lemon drop martini. Uh, I love this drink. Um, it's one, Someone asked me just recently, uh, what is my specialty or what's my favorite drink to make? And I actually named this drink as one of my favorite drinks to make. So we're going to show it today. I've got all the ingredients laid out here, and so uh, we'll, we'll get started. First, um, I'm going to start off with just a shaker um, and uh, put some ice in that. Uh, I've got a lot of bartending equipment, but you know what? You don't have to have any of this really to make drinks. You could actually use just regular cups, solo cups, how, whatever you want to use to make your drinks. But in my shaker, I've got some ice. When I make a lemon drop martini, I like to use the Absolute Citron Vodka. Um, it's a great tasting uh, lemon flavored vodka to me. I'm actually going to measure today. Uh, typically when I make drinks, I just do a freehand pour, but I'm actually going to measure these drinks today. Uh, for this particular drink, I'm going to put in uh, three shots of the Absolute Citron Vodka. Also too, a lot of times the measurement depends on what size of glass that you're working with or cup that you're working with. Next, I'm going to use Triple Sec. I use just about a half of a shot of Triple Sec. Next, I'm going to use some real lemon juice. Uh, this is the quick way of doing this. Obviously, if you cut up your own lemons and make your own lemon juice, it's probably going to give it a, a little bit more of a fresher taste, but uh, this works well. Uh, put in just about one half to three quarters of a squeeze of the uh, real lemon juice. Next is the simple syrup. Uh, I make my simple syrup by one part uh, sugar and one part uh, water. Uh, so usually I use a cup of sugar, a cup of water, boil it until it dissolves. Uh, and just put it in some type of container. Uh, I'm putting in about one good squeeze of the simple syrup and then we will shake this. One thing I've got sitting here is my martini glass. I like the martini glass to be cold uh, so I actually instead of trying to put it in the fridge or a freezer I just put some ice and some water and let it sit over to the side for a few minutes so it's chilled. The other thing too I want to do is to sugar round. Um, one of the simplest ways to sugar around a, a, a glass is just take a wedge of, of, of lemon and just swirl it all the way around it a time or two. Now you definitely want to use something that's sticky, like a juice or triple sec, uh, other than water. I've got a, a sugar or salt um, rimmer here that I use, uh, but if you don't have that, uh, just take a small saucer, put some sugar in it, and just set it down in the, uh, um, set the glass down in the sugar, and you've got a sugar rim glass. Pour your martini in, and now you have a lemon drop martini. Mm, it's so good. Another thing that I've done before is buy the lemon head candies and drop a couple lemon head candies down here. Kind of gives you something to look forward to when you finish your, uh, your martini. To change this up just slightly and make it a cherry lemon drop martini, I like to just get some uh, maraschino cherries. Uh, and just drop a couple, two, three, however many you want in here. And then you can just use the juice from the uh, jar. Put it right in there. It actually floats to the bottom, makes a good looking drink. And then if you want to just float a lemon in here. And there you go, folks. A great uh, cherry lemon drop martini. Also, too, when I think about food pairings with this drink, uh, one of the things I think would be very good is a lemon garlic herb cod. Um, I would eat it baked is how I would like it. Uh, this is also being a sweet drink. It pairs very well with a lemon poppy seed cupcake. Uh, my friend Josanna makes the most incredible lemon poppy seed cupcake ever, so this goes well with that. Uh, also, too, I've actually um, picked up some uh, turkey breast from my local food line and actually bought some Havarti cheese and made just some Harvari cheese and turkey roll-ups. So it's a great appetizer as well to have with your lemon drop martini. 
So with that, uh, hope you enjoy it and uh, cheers until next time.